let's see okay i think i actually have the stock tires back here well one of them there was only a couple um let's see where are they because i kind of want to see okay so there was two 25 60 15s okay so two 25 60 15s 225, 60, 15s. Let's see. I want to do. Let's do sport. Let's see, 225, 60s. I got to remember in my head 60, 15s. Alright, so if we did two of these. Let's do those, and I want to see what they look like, and then we'll go from there. Because, I mean, to be honest, I'd really rather run 20s, but if they look good, it's like I don't care. Um, let's see, there's no, where's the rims? Because there are certain rims I was wanting, I thought they would look pretty good. These right here, those are looks like the ones that we have on it, where it would come on it. So I think we're actually going to use these. Do two of them, and we'll do 15s, which that's not too bad. Uh, let's mount these and see what they look like. All right, install tire. I think these look pretty good. Like we're not going for anything like crazy. Now for the rear, I might do the same, but like a little bit wider. I think that would look pretty good. Let's go ahead and get these balanced. By a boss. There we go. Take that one off. It's like now you can't walk away with this. It's like you have to like balance it yourself. So that's pretty cool because I used to have them like going and I'd like try to <laughs> fix it real fast before it was done, done anything. All right, let's go ahead and slap these on. That's going to look good with those rotors. All right. Um,. I think those look good. I mean, I think it kind of fits the period of the car. We're not really, crap. We're not really going for anything, you know, like modern style. We're going for just the classic. Classic. All right, so that looks pretty good on there. I think we're going to do the same size um, for the rear. Um, we could always want those or those. That'd probably look good too. You know, like all black or something. That would look good. All right, let's see. Where are those rooms that we just had? Okay, there's... I need 15s. Two of them. All right, let's go to tires. We're going to do the same. We're going to do 15s. 225. I think we're going to do 255. And we'll do 60s. I think that would be pretty good. A little bit wider, not too too much. All right, let's install this. Yeah, we could probably went a whole lot wider, but then it's like I don't want to stick out the fender or anything. So at least everything kind of looks correct on it. Just put that there. There you go. All right. That's good. Perfect. Get this mount in balance, and we should be able to hopefully take it and try try starting it. Put seats in it and everything, because I mean I ain't really care about putting the body on. I just want to see if it actually starts. Now we probably could have done wider tires on this thing, probably look a little better, but that's pretty good. Once we get the actual rear fenders on this thing, that somebody cut completely off, we'll be all right. All right, um, let's go ahead and see what kind of body panels. Rear, left fender, okay. All right, we need to buy some body panels for this thing because it's completely, oh, we do a pizza, we built a cop car. Um, all right, so here's the Mustang. 
We need a, a lot of stuff for it. Um, use a... Okay. What? I see, now I kind of like these lights. And everything, so I don't know. I know we need to get the uh, left fenders and stuff, so... We can do these, right rear fender J. I kind of like that. Let's do right rear fender J. And we need left rear fender J. Where's that at? Left rear fender J. Left fender J. There it is. Okay. And then for the headlights, to be honest, I really kind of like these. I think I'm going to go K. So right headlight K, left headlight K, K, and we already have a hood, I mean we could probably, we can most make this, looks like a daggone like, like uh, Mach 1 Mustang, yeah, get that little scoop right there, something a little bit different, alright, so we got that, all right, for our front here, let's see. That's the problem, though, with the front. We need everything to kind of work together. All right, so if I like this grill, so use with clamshell F through G and P and T headlights only. We have K. Let's see. Headlights. Okay, so we're going to have to use this. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy this. Let's see what it looks like. Because we got them headlights and everything. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Alright, let's see. Let me put my headlights on. I kind of like that. It's like sinister looking. And if all that's painted, that would look real good. Look at that. Alright, so I think I'm going to move these headlights because I don't think I need, need them. Wait. Where's my headlights? Hang on, let's see. Front end. It's really hard. Okay, so we need a front grill. Use with I. Front end's I. So where's I? Uh, there. Okay, so apparently this is the only front end we can use. Okay, so, okay, I, well, I, it, it said I needed to install my headlights in here or something, so I was like, huh. Okay, kind of weird looking, but I'm kind of digging it, so let's get some fenders for it. Um, hopefully the fenders will fit no matter what. Right fender, I kind of like the shaved look. I kind of like those, though. Alright, what one so we do okay clamshell d so clamshell d works with <laughs> oh my gosh right fender okay you know what i'm just gonna get well apparently none of these work with theirs that sucks let's just i'm just gonna get right fender b that works for me See, left fender B. No, it's left rear fender. I need right front. Where are you? This is like making my head hurt. <laughs> All right, so we have that one. Right, I need left. The heck is the left? I have right. See, left fender. I mean, is it all together? Is it one of those things? All right, front left fender. Okay, so that actually looks pretty good. I like it. I like it. All right, so I need B. Left fender B. Let's see. If front right fender. There it is. There we go. Left fender. Where the heck is B at? Where is B? <laughs> what? 
Do they not have a Fender B? Right Fender B. Okay, maybe it, this is it. I think it's like A and B. Yeah, I think that's the right one. Okay. Alright, yes. That's a matching set. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> so many. So many. Alright, so now we gotta do the bumper and like the trim around the front. Let's see. We need to do the trim. We don't really... We really don't need that. We don't need a crazy style engine cover or anything like that. We have a hood. Um, golly, there's so many different parts to this car. Like, I don't even know what we need is the bad thing. Windshield, tinted. Definitely gotta have tinted windshield, even though it's, yeah, windshield. Mirrors, kind of D&D, &D, so we're gonna go mir mirror B. Where's the other side mirrors? Um, there we go. Tinted. Yeah, we'll do black, so we're gonna do body window tinted and then what about the other side we need the other side window tinted oh there it is okay well, let's try this goodness Got the front windshield okay all right we're making headway <laughs> all right so we got the front windshield we need doors Let's see, I, I, it's just a regular door. But I think it's got, does it not have, does it have trim? No, it ain't got no trim on it. Okay, so, we just need a regular door. Um, see, if we do black trim, I kind of like that. I think we're going to do two doors. Okay, we're going to do D. We're going to have to buy another one. It's $1,000, but... You know, is what it is. Alright, so I have a good door here, but I'm going to take it off. And we'll put this one on. It has like the black trim and matches there. I think that'd be pretty good. Alright, we go. That looks good. We got the mirrors. Oh, yeah. I kind of like the mirrors that has I'm on it, though, but we're going to do it with these. Now I need the windshield. Wait, what's this? We don't need chrome. That has chrome on it. No! That was a big mistake. I don't need chrome. You know, screw it. We're just going to buy some of the stock slick doors. That's all we're doing. That's what we're going to have to do. Alright. Absolutely like nothing on these doors. Perfect. That's what we want. I can't believe we spent like almost over two grand for doors and they were the wrong ones. I can't. I can I can believe that. That's just how it goes. Alright. And it's got the kind of like hideaway uh, door handle. Does this one have it? Yeah, right there. So, that's pretty good. Okay, so that's good. We're good. We need to get some tinted windows up in this mug. I just wanted front left window tinted. And then we need right window tinted. Where is it? Um, let's see, we got that. We need the other one. Um, let's see. And then we need the rear. I kind of like the flush mounted bumper. I don't even know what kind of lights that we have. Okay, so we just have like regular lights back here. Um,. The three, three sets. I like these, so we're going to use these with. We'll you we'll see you know or something. Let's see where's the lights. All right, we need the rear to be you know. Good grief! There's so many parts of this car. It's ridiculous. And then we need a thing. Current carbon fiber. I feel like this one right here would just work for us. Okay, let's try this. Are we good? Whew. 
Okay, that works. It's 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 like when you have all these, it's so hard to get them to work. All right, so that looks good. I like it. Um, I don't want a plate. Okay, we need windows, which I think we actually have the windows. We need a rear window, which I don't want the louvers. Um, we need a front bumper. Um, front bumper. And then, let's see. Front bumper, where are you? And then we need a chrome for around the grill, of course. Um... Uh, is this the front? Was that the bumpers up here? No, it's the hood. Chrome. I think we're actually going to do all black around it to just get rid of that. And for the chrome, I'm thinking we can actually probably use like this or something. Alright, we're going to try it. Will that work? Perfect. And then we're going to take the chrome off. put that on. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Because we kind of want it to be like de-chromed. And we need a front bumper and we're good. We're golden. Uh, and a rear window. Rear windshield. Alright, that's the front windshield. We need rear. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> oh, rear windshield. Alright. Tinted rear. No, I don't want that. I just want a regular. And then we need the front bumper. Do we even have front? Okay, painted. Let's see. Yeah, we'll do the painted. Then the engine cover. We can actually... We could put almost like a shaker hood on this car. We need a new hood, though. Really don't want to do that. What if we just did... I think that right there puts a cage in the car. Which I'm fine with that. There we go. Okay, so apparently that's not the right bumper. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so we need front clamshell, a bumper to go with their front. To be honest, I don't even know. Do we even need a bumper? Alright, let's add air cover. Which, yeah, it puts a cage in it, but that's fine. Alright, to be honest, I think the car looks good without the bumper. Which I know we're probably going to get less on it, but I think it looks good. Yeah, I don't want a bumper on it or anything. I think it looks good. I think we're good. We need to put the rear window on it, which I, I opted out for the louvers. Which, I mean, it probably looks better with the louvers. Okay, so here we go. Um, let's go ahead and back this out. Um, let's go to B, back it out to B, and we need to put some seats in it and stuff, and steering wheel, that'll be easy, um, let's go to the interior shop, where is the interior, there we go, um, I think we're just going to do bucket seats, I, to be honest, I think something like this would probably look good, let's get these, then we need a steering wheel, and I'm thinking something actually like that um i know back in the day they did a lot of the you know different color you know black and tan or whatever so all right i like it i think it looks good probably should have went with like a black i mean a tan interior but let's try it come on baby And I'm going to start. It's not started. We have battery. We have everything. I mean, we should have everything. Alright, assembly mode. Oh, I know why. We don't have any fuses. <laughs> I forgot that we needed these. Okay, so we need... Relay type C. Um, let's see, relay. Relay type C. I think we need like five of those mugs, man. 
All right, let's put those in. I was like, something is not <laughs> working. You know, it's the first time I actually built a full car on here, so that that's why well, I didn't. I forgot about these. All right, medium fuse A. Fuse A. I'm gonna say about five. We do need a uh, fuse box cover. Okay, oh, well, never mind. It's, okay, so it's going to be a couple different ones. They all look the same. Let's see, A, B. Okay, so we need a, a B, B, and a C. Um, and then we need, what, two Bs? That's pretty cool. $10 a fuse, though. That's ridiculous. All right, we need one more beat because I only got two. All right, so one more B. You know what? That fuse box is actually crap. <sighs> yep, you know, I should have knew that. I was looking, I was like, yeah, that thing looks not that good. So we want to take the fuse box out because we don't want to have any electrical issues down the road. Go ahead and replace it. We need to use box A. Dang, man. <laughs> Alright, so let's put all of our relays and stuff back in. At least we have all of these. Because I was just going to put a top on it. But I nah, can't do that. Alright. This should make it. Because I was like, man, that thing ain't even like clicking or anything. That's probably the reason. All right, so we need relay type B and A. We need a. I don't know which one we need. Okay, we need two Bs. Okay. Perfect. All right, and then we can put our top on it. We should be good to go. All right, now. She should start. Boy, the wind is dark out here. Alright, let's try it. Come on, baby. Alright. There was the first startup. Sounds pretty good. Alright, let's, uh... Let's take it to the over at the engine shop. Um, let's do let's do dyno. All right, let's see what this bad boy will make on the dyno. Small inter intercooler. We're not running a. What do you mean? Intercooler. We're running an intercooler. On a non-turbo or supercharged car. Okay. Let's move it back to the lift because apparently we need an intercooler on there. I've, I've, that's new to me. Okay. Um, I figured intercoolers only go on turbo and stuff cars. We're not running a turbo or supercharged car. But if, what, whatever it asks for, I guess we'll have to. Hopefully we don't have to do the stupid bumper or anything. A hundred dollars for nothing. All right. Small intercooler. Okay, there we go. For our non-turbo car. <laughs> All right, let's see if we get it. I actually kind of like the car like it is. I would drive this as a daily. Just no paint or anything on it. Just like this. All right. Please tell me to start now. Yes. All right. Okay. Right now, pause the video. Pause it. Before, uh, wait. Wait till I say it, then pause it. <laughs> Anyways, we're make, it says 290. I think we're going to make around about 450. Let me know in the comments what you think we want to make and how close you are off or right on. Alright, about 450 because we did add a lot. Third gear pull. and 
16. You know, at the beginning, I was like, oh, it'd be cool if we could do like, a, you know, 500 horsepower, but four, 450, I feel like, was realistic. So, we did a 226 horsepower game. That's pretty good. 78%. 516. So, this car is now a 500 horsepower car. Heck, yeah. I was going to let it cool off a little bit, but my fan's turned off. Okay, so... All right, let's take it and let's go ahead and give it a wash, another wash real quick. And then we'll clean the inside. All right, and then, well, I think we're good. All right, so we probably need to paint it. Like, I really don't even want to get rid of the car, but we're going to have to. Let's paint it. We're going to do teal. I think that's going to be a good color. Okay, so let's do, we're going to do like a, a, a teal color, which I mean, to be honest, I kind of like that. All right, we're going to do that. That's going to be the color. Let's do a paint car. Oh, yeah. Now... Can we, let's see, we need to add, let's see, I don't think there's any other thing we can add. See, I really, ooh, I like that. That was the color of the car, but we already painted it. I kind of like that orange, though. All right, so this is our car. Um, I, I kind of liked how the hood was. Those are the black stripes. Can we not add the stripes to it? Um... That's pretty. Let's see. I don't think we can. Well, dang. All right. Usually it has like a like livery or something. All right. So there's our car. Let's go ahead and move it outside the shop. Take a good look at it and everything. This thing is sick. Like going from what it did look like till now is like amazing. Let's go ahead and. Get a little picture of our thumbnail here. All right, so I don't know why. I, <laughs> I don't even know what I did that for. All right, now let's get a little, let's do a little height there. All right. This thing is sick, and I like it. All right, this. Can we take it for a test drive? Because I really don't. Okay, let's see. All right, let's take it for a test drive. Let's, let's, let's go somewhere. Let's, let's get to a strip or something. Um, test track. Speed track. Let's see, length. Let's go. We're going to take the old Mustang. Wheels are not aligned. Car may drive in odd way. I don't care. We do have to take it and get it aligned. So we definitely got to align it.
All right, so the Mustang did pretty good. It has plenty of power. Uh, we probably really need slicks if we go back out there again. Let's go ahead and take it to the alignment shop. Let's see, we'll do test path. But yeah, we definitely gotta do alignment and everything. Let's do wheel alignment. Alright, we got this front one's horrible. And there we go. There we go. So we are lined really good there. Okay. Let's do headlight alignment. Let's see, come on over a little bit. All right, I think that's pretty good. And then, boy, that's way up there. <laughs> that's really horrible. Especially tell us when it's aligned, but it's like, I don't... To be honest, that looks decent for me, so... That's what we're going to use. Um, test pass. Yeah, let's go ahead and roll it. Everything should be good though. And yeah, we're gonna sell this bad boy. I mean, I just want to give the car the old one over real break. Pull it up. Rear brakes. They should all be brand new. Paperwork that we're good. All right, and are we good? Are we good? Are we good? We are good. Perfect. All right, everything is 100, which it should be because we there did no faulty parts. All right, this is this is the time for that. We are going to be uh, selling our baby. All right, how much are we going to get out of this car? Um, let's see options. Let's see. No, I want to sell the car. Car status. The body is 87 percent, but we are missing like the bumper and stuff. But we don't want the bumper on, so I'm fine with that. Fully rebuilt motor, Boss 302. Nice. We're making 516, which is amazing. 500 horsepower junkyard car. If we sell it right now, we will make 49,000. I said I think we'll make around the 50,000 dollar thing. So that's pretty good. We put twelve thousand dollars, well sixteen thousand parts. So we are going to sell it. Peace out, Mustang. That's fifty thousand dollars to our next uh, next project. I don't know what we're going to find, but it'll probably be another junkyard. Maybe we'll do like you know uh, a truck or you know another car or something like that. Maybe a supercar. That's where you make the money as a supercar. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope everybody's having a blessed day. Thank you for watching, and I will. See you on the next one. <laughs> America, baby. Oh, yeah. One day, it's my dream, actually, to travel to do uh, a road trip on Route 66. One day, I will. I will. This pile, I need to fix it, too, but it'll be okay. <laughs>